Thank you, Commissioner. As you know, the unemployment rate uh, fell pretty dramatically. Uh, do you see this as, would you describe it as an encouraging sign of a sustainable recovery? This is one, um, uh, yeah. Uh, this is one month's number. Of course, you don't want to get to hung up on one, uh, one particular number. But uh, most of the change in the unemployment rate, about two thirds of it probably, was due to falling labor force participation, which is uh, people simply giving not, up on the market, the workforce. Well, the interesting thing is that we, when we looked at flows, it looked like most of the flows into non participation were from employment rather than from unemployment. Uh -huh. But, uh, but generally speaking, it's, uh, uh, it's not as robust a sign as if the fall in unemployment had come from uh, creation of a lot of jobs. Mm -hmm. Do you think this is a, that, that drop in the reasons for it, is that a, a troubling indicator or a, a concerning indicator? Um, well, I guess it depends on the question you are asking. <laughs> um, it's, uh, it's certainly not a sign of strength. Okay. We look at, um, in your report, you make the case that here we are four and a half years after the recession ended, there are still fewer payroll jobs than when the, the recession began, mm -hmm. which is creating a dramatic gap in, in jobs in America. So at the rate of the 180,000 mm -hmm. jobs a month that has occurred over the last two years, how long will it take before America is simply back to even mm -hmm. um, in payroll jobs? Uh, in total payroll jobs, it would take about seven months into July. Uh, for private sector uh, payrolls, it would take about four months to April. Okay, so we're looking at <clears throat> mid-year before we get back to break even mm -hmm. on the pre-recession payroll jobs. That's right. Good. The number is 74,000 and uh, 87,000 private sector jobs. Uh, we're disappointing, I think, for most of us who want to see mm -hmm. much stronger uh, recovery, um, far below the consensus for uh, the report. Um, from an economic standpoint, I'm told that numbers that small are statistically insignificant mm -hmm. in the sense of what you read. Mm -hmm. What in your report, where are the areas, I think you mentioned retail, Mm -hmm. uh, information, perhaps wholesale. What what areas last month were statistically significant that mm -hmm. you can tell us about? Um, the fifty five thousand jobs created in retail trade were statistically significant, and that was in food and clothing predominantly. Uh, that widespread in retail trade, so um, a quite a, quite a few of the subsectors. Um, wholesale ho the wholesale trade increase of 15,000 jobs was also statistically significant. Was and there any insight into that number? Um, well, a lot of that was in electronic trading. Um, so these are services provided to firms that are buying inputs, and they do it electronically. So they don't actually take uh, possession of the inputs that they purchase on, on behalf of other firms, but they facilitate the purchase of these inputs by firms. Right. Um, the other uh, sector that had growth that I want to call your attention to is not a super sector, but it's very important, the temporary help services industry. That added a statistically significant 40,000 new jobs. Uh, that's often a harbinger of further growth. Right. Thank you, Mr. Vice Chair Klobuchar. Okay. 